What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm doing a sneaker giveaway. If you want to join, all you got to do is subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my other channel as well, which I will leave a link to down in the description below. But if you want to know what five sneakers I'm giving away, I will leave a link to that video in the description as well. But if you don't care, all you got to do is subscribe to both channels. By the way, the giveaway does end at 5,000 subscribers. Anyways, another announcement that I had is that I didn't sell out of all my shirts at SneakerCon, so I will be selling them online. And I have the long sleeve ones in black. I have the short sleeve ones in white. And then I have the long sleeve of the white and the short sleeve of the black as well. So, And the shirts probably won't be up until like the middle of the week, so just stay tuned for that. As you guys can see, I have a Yeezy V2 in the bread colorway behind me, and I am doing a review on that today, so let's get with it. So to start off, I know I was hating on the shoe a lot. I know I said I hated the heel tab, but if it wasn't for that, I would honestly love the shoe. And I wasn't going to let that get in the way of me purchasing the shoe. So I was like, whatever, I'll cop it. And fortunately enough, I was able to get two pairs. I was able to get a pair from Champs and Foot Locker. Anyways, if you own a V2 but you don't own this one in particular, all this is is basically the same exact thing with the SPLY-350 reversed on the left shoe. And of course, the heel tab that's new, which looks a lot like the Pirate Black heel tabs. The stripe is black on this one, but of course you can't see it because the shoe is all black and it kind of just blends in. But you can see on the prime knit where the line is supposed to be is different from the rest of the shoe. Like the rest of the shoe has like, it's more like, you can see more holes and stuff. But on that, whoa. But on that part, you can see that the prime knit's a lot smoother and more tight together. The rope laces are just plain black. They don't have that nice pattern like they did on the Pirate Blacks. They are the same rope laces as you've seen on the Oreo colorway and on the other three colorways, which are like the red, the coppers, and the puke green, whatever colorway that was. Moving on to the inside of the shoe, you do see that you have three stripes like they, all V2s have. And these are reflective as well, just like on all the other pairs, except the Belugas. And if you go to the insole, you do have the Adidas the Adidas logo and Yeezy logo all in white. And then the background of the insole is black and then the bottom is black as well. Just in case you guys need that for legit check purposes. And then moving on to the inside of the shoe without the insole, you can see the boost right through it. And then you have like that netting so you can actually see through it so you can see the boost. Well, that pretty much covers the uppers. Moving on to the midsole, you do have a translucent black midsole which does scuff up pretty easily so be careful when you wear them because once they get scuffed it's kind of hard to take those scuffs out some of them do come out but then if it's like a deep scuff like as you can see right here i didn't even wear the shoe yet but there's like a little scuff right there if you guys can see it and i haven't even worn them yet so i should tell you guys how easy it is to scuff these shoes and then moving on to the bottom you do have the same translucent black sole except it has a bunch of little windows on the toe area and then on the heel you have that big triangular window so you can see that nice soft boost that does make this the most comfortable Yeezy out there. Well, all V2s in that case, not just this one. And then, of course, you do have your boost embossed right at the bottom of the shoe. Anyways, I pretty much wrapped it up for the shoe. That's all there is to it. Nothing really new other than just the fact that they threw the heel tab on there. This shoe did retail for the price of $220. And now, if you want to pay resale for them, they are going for around, I would say, $500 and up. Or they might even go down in price because there were so many of these released. I actually sold my other pair for $400 and... He traded me a pair of Oreo Ultra Boost. I mean, the guy got a deal for him because he works at Foot Locker Foot Action. I don't know where the receipt's from, but he works at a foot site store and he got an employee discount. So in total, he really paid like $530 for these shoes. So I basically got this shoe for free and came up with a little bit of profit. By the way, if you guys want to watch the video SneakerCon, I will be posting that on my vlog. Hopefully today, if not tomorrow. Also, if you guys are looking for an on-feet shot, I will have another. Also, if you guys are looking for an on-feet shot, I will do a separate video on that. So stay tuned for that sometime this week maybe tomorrow or the day after because i do have to post videos still about these customs right there which are the youtube customs i gotta talk about those a little more and actually show you guys on feet so for all you guys hating out there i finally got this shoe and here's your review so be happy anyways if you did enjoy the video make sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe we are trying to get to 5,000 subscribers hopefully by the end of this month but before i go i do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day and today's fan of the day is christian gomez thank you for showing love in the comments especially to the last one where he said your honest my favorite sneaker youtuber i can never miss a day without your video keep up the good work so shout out to him anyways make sure you stay woke our sneaker sign out peace